Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to Manresa, Spain, for tonight's basketball champs league fixture between Baxi Manresa and, of course, the visitors Vef Riga. Well, Limoges will be taking on Benfica at the same time here earlier. I wish Benfica coming up with a big, big victory last week in their opening game of the Basketball Champions League against Vefrig, while Baxman Ressa winning on the road against Limoges. Well, it was the Baxman Ressa head coach that said in a pre-game, excuse me, a post-game interview in which he felt that Benfica were arguably the favorites in this group to do very, very well, of course, of being the newcomers to the Basketball Champions League. Usually there's a time that they have to sort of get the experience, but because we will see how things pan out here. This is a new Baxman and Ressa team. A team that's coming off the back of making the finals last season, which they lost against Lenovo Tenerife in Bilbao. Well, you can see, of course, Benfica, as we mentioned, Baxman and Ressa winning their opening games, and whoever wins this game tonight, we could have the same result in which both teams still join top the group. Of course, Limoges taking on Benfica here tonight. They'll want to make sure their return to the Champions League is going to be a memorable one, so they got to change things up here tonight. Well, for the home fans, of course, a lot of anxiety coming into this game, wondering how the season was going to pan out. Of course, losing many of their great players from last season, but as it stands already, looking to change things up here. We're going to take a look at some of the starting lineups for, for tonight's two teams, of course. Remember, Befriga playing in the Latvian Professional League, while Baxman Ressa, a key member of the Spanish ACB, one of the most predominant professional leagues here in Europe and in international basketball, for that matter. Well, the Vefregan players need to make sure that, you know, they come out with a big response after their disappointed defeat against Benfica. And they know that, especially here on the road, it gets very tough against a team that last season making it to the final four, and making it to the final for that matter. Well, Jamal Abrams, along with Alpes Putins as well, will be the key players to look out for now. Zurich is going to have to have a very good shooting night here for Vefriga. He's going to have to try and light it up as much as possible here. Well, for Maxim and Ressa, the key thing for them will be make sure they get this home crowd into this game, really try and control the tempo and get out and transition as much as possible. Now, one thing they're going to have to be go up against is the size and physicality of Vef Riga. I mean, this is a team that loves to really go for second chances, bruise and battle their way in the low block. And Baxman and Ressa will just have to use their perimeter ability. Well, Rancho Badio, along with the Italian international Giordano Portolani. Well, Elias Valton, one of the key sharpshooters. Tyson Perez, also one of their newcomers this season. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this team comes out and performs after the expectations that they did build last season. And that this arena was rocking in the Champions League and in the Spanish ACB every week. Solani, of course, one of the key additions they brought in this season. And again, he's going to have to be one of the key players but if they are to get back to the final neck this season and challenge for a title. It's very much easier said than done, but there's Tyson Perez. Well, it's been a very slow start, of course, for them in the ACB as well. Been very competitive season. A competitive season, excuse me. As the likes of... Bilbao obviously getting off to a great start in both the basketball champs again in their domestic Spanish ACB. Well, Perez, of course, another player from the previous season. And now we'll get set to introduce our officials for tonight's game. And then we'll take a look at the starting lineups. But ladies and gentlemen, we're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials here in world basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions. And they'll continue to do so here tonight at the Basketball Champions League live here in Marresa. Well, the atmosphere in this arena, I can tell you one thing, can be absolutely electrifying. I mean, these teams 
are going to be in for tonight. Even the home team. And sometimes you can speak to ex-professional players. Case in point, Joel Freeland talked about this atmosphere, but our officials are coming from Greece, Turkey, and Germany. Karsten Straube, Zafir Ilmaz, and Yorgos Porsanidis. Head coaching staff there, backsman rest and know that it's going to be a very, very big challenge for them as we're going to take a look at the starting lineups. Can you remember, this team was even in contention last year to challenge for an ACB championship and having now to restructure and try and give themselves a new identity coming into this basketball champions league. Well, Beth Riga going to start with Daniel Hamilton, Brooks, along with Zurich's Artizate and Jamal Abrams. Well, that's a very, very big lineup they're going with there, so they're probably going to try and go with the physicality inside to compete with Baxman and Ressa. Well, the head coach has stopped there for Vef Riga. Again, they've been proud members of the Basketball Champions League year after year, competing and earning the right to get into this competition. At some point, this team's really going to have to make a name for themselves and start to compete at the top. While we take a look at the starting lineups here for Baxman Ressa, Juan Valle, along with Marcus Lee, Danny Perez, Jarek Harding, and Giordano Bortolani. Well, Valle, of course, the Argentine international, didn't feature too much for this team last year, more of a role player. And obviously, with the exit of some key players from last season, now was the time for him to step into the role and become one of his own now. There's Yanis Gailitis, the head coach of Vefriga. Again, a very stoic demeanor. Very cool, calm, calm and collective look there as he prepares his team for the opening game day here. Or well, excuse me, second game day two of the Basketball Champions League. That is my excuse me. Well, there's a man who knows how to get his team to a final. Of course, he had a very talented team last year. Found a few players returning. For those fans, they're back, and they'll be expecting and demanding similar success from last season. The question is, can Baxman wrestle? The same goes, Sami Man wrestle. Only one of the last four home games by plus 15 points. Danny Perez becoming a player with the first 10 points and five rebounds, along with five assists for Man wrestle here in the Basketball Champions League. And Danny Perez, of course, coming to keep playing for them in the backcourt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here. This is game day two of the Basketball Champions League. Baxi Manresa, as they host Vefriga from Latvia. The question is, who will come out with a big victory here tonight? Vefriga losing to Benfica in their opening game last week. While well, Baxi Manresa getting back tough to business with a victory against Limoges. The officials are ready. I'll shake hands with the players. But when the tip is up underway, business will start to pick up. Yes, against the Resnias. Well, as we mentioned with this game, these two teams, we're going to have a minute of silence now before we start the game.
May we rest in peace to Tony Kreis, the man who's on the board of directors here for Baxman Wrestler and also a former commentator of the broadcast of Radio Mad Wrestle on Twitter. Rest in peace, Tony Kreis. And Baxman Wrestler will try to honor the situation now here with a big performance in front of the home crowd. We're underway now, and it will be the home team to get the first possession here. These Matt Wrestler fans are really going to have to make the atmosphere very electrifying in this arena. We're trying to get tempo going early now. Jericotti coming off one screen. Getting that low hit of Valdez. And the Archer time bumps his way. But he doesn't get it. Vifringa unable to save it. So it will be a baseline ball here too. Back to Matt Wrestler. Danny Barris, remember, he's the first player to plus 15 points and five rebounds and five assists for Baxman Wrestler so far in the history of their time. Oh, the last one, this is now their third season here. Last season was a dream season for them, making it to the final. And Bill Bow, which they came up short against Lenovo Tenerife. Play, of course, because the Matt Ressa fans celebrate. Look at the step back here. That's good defense by Zorix. Even tougher shot there by Jarek Harden. Well, you might have heard of James Harden, but we've got Jarek Harden here in the Basketball Champions League. Taken by Harding, and again, that's one thing Daniel Hamilton has to keep doing, of course, breaking the defense down, collapsing the gaps. Harding now goes down low to Valdez. Now just two now kicks this one out to Perez. He'll try three and three is up. No good. Defensive rebound by Valdez. He goes up with no foul calls. Well, he put it now, so he will go to the free throw line here for two shots. And then for the Hamilton carrying the rebounds, of course, and Lowen to come up with the second chances. Well, Valet, of 
course, member of the Argentine national team. Juan Pablo Paulette, of course, originally from Cordoba, was a FIBA America Cup champion this summer, in which they defeated Brazil in the final in Recife, Brasilia. Well, you just got to give a player so much homage, or excuse me, give a lot of accolades and pay them a lot of homage to play for a national team such as Argentina. As he misses second free throw there. Now, Vefriga trying to find the gaps here. This is the pick and roll play. Tries to force his way in the post now. Rosella doesn't get it. And now Paris comes up with it. This is what Matt Russell wants. Kicks out hot in three. Takes it. But Brooks secured the rebound. And now, Daniel looked to push this one. There's a pumping now. Right wide open. He'll take the three. The three is up, and the three is good there. Well, Daniel Hamilton. Just settling the nerves of F. Regan by hitting the first three-pointer. Another wide open look. We'll take a three in the corner. Three is up. He nails that one from downtown. Oh, that is Bortolani. Well, you just cannot leave Giordano Bortolani wide open. This man will make it rain here tonight. He will light it up. Daniel now coming up one screen down the middle, goes up, again, avoids a block shot, he kisses that one off the backboard. Much better play there by Vefriga. Now, Marassa trying to break this one down. Well, Bortolani made a last three point, it doesn't make this one. Surge down here, have we got it? Trying to break down Danny Perez here on the defense. Turn it over. Well, now Maressa, they've got numbers here. Oh. Well, Tavani's going to go himself now. Oh, yeah, he's going to go himself now. He's going to go himself now. He's going to go himself Much better play there by Max Maressa. Beth Riga. Tono is now leading the transition points here for the home side. About to turn it over again. A bad call violation. A bit of a delay call there from the official. Fingers on the basketball. He's got to do a better job of just taking care of the ball. At this level now, you know, when you play against Baxi Maressa, the kind of team, if you make mistakes, they'll make you pay. But if you get things right, they'll still make you pay. The margin for error so small here for there's a block in the lane, doesn't get it. In the lane now, tries to hang up off the ball. Gets rejected. Well, Valet said, no way, Mikasa. Now Valette, transition, oh baby, Sonny Marissa! Boy, you gotta love that play, Valette with the block shot, and then just ran in transition. Oh, I wanna see the replay of this one. Argentina said after the block shot, no in mi casa to no eres bienvenido right here in the city of Marresa as he ran in transition. I mean, look at this running the floor as they would say, Tink tu esparoles, Sami Marresa. Valette just taking that one in transition. Oh, 
Three is up from downtown. The three's been tucked away. And again, that's what Jamar Abraham has got to do now. He's got to step up and give them options. Well, another three point. Three is up again, and the three is good. And Jarek Hodden is feeling it right now as he hits his second tray ball tonight. Well, so far, both these two teams getting some good looks from the perimeter at the moment. Maxi Manresa. Much better luck here from downtown. Remember, Botolani has one three-pointers. Nathaniel tries another one. He can't get it. And the rebound secured by Danny Perez. Well, Perez trying to find Valette under the basket. Valette goes up, and Valette is just cooking it in the low block. And he's going to go to the free throw line here for the three-point play. Well, El Señor Cordoba, the Argentina, just punishing Vefriga. Well, as we mentioned, of course, he had a very good summer playing for Argentina, in which he won the gold medal in the 2022 FIBA America, alongside Compasso and Gabriel Deck. Defeating Didi Luthada along with Marcelino Huerta's arrival here in the basketball champion and in the ACB in the final in Recife, Brazil. Well, Zurich pulls up for three point and can't get it. Veferi come up with a loose ball. Now they go on a little teardrop up the backboard. The follow up can't get it. And Manresa survived this one. They're up by nine points. Valet going all the way. Valet going off the backboard. And Valet looking like a baby. Manu Ginobili out there. Well, he puts Manresa up by 11 points. He now moves up to eight points. He's three for four from the field. Xerx kicks this one out. Can they make it count from downtown? Again, the perimeter shooting struggling, but the second chance is going in the favor of Vefriga, but too many turnovers at the moment. Hodden now look for a crossover, take a step back. Doesn't get that one. But again, Valet making the difference here. Trying to lob under the basket and it counts as Marcus Lee gets a little drop. I think it will take three plays to maybe stop him on defense. Well, that's a good thing about Marcus Lee. You know he's the kind of player that would just be so physical and cement himself in the low block. Well, there's a pull up for the mid-range and the two-point shot sunk away there by Roberts Bergens. Oh my goodness gracious! Marcus Lee just throws it down in transition. Well, where was the transition defense? Nowhere to be seen. Somebody reported missing peoples there. Here in Manresa. Marcus Lee now going up to four points, getting back-to-back -back field goals here for Maxi Manresa. We're under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Zurich's not looking for options. No rhythm here in the offense for Vefriga. Burgess now another penetration kick. There's a penetration. A foul has been called. Well, it's going to be called on the finish international. Elias Valtanen. Well, look at this. He might need to triple team Marcus Lee because he's got a mismatch against Robert Persians. But again, in transition, I mean, that's just too easy. Well, Vefriga will be so disappointed in the transition defense. A penetration to kick out Atte for three, and again goes over the back wall. That's gonna be an out of bounds violation. Well, Veferiga, you can see they're getting good looks from the perimeter, but that's everything they go for at the moment. I mean, if they want to keep going to these perimeter shots, it's down by 13. They gotta find other ways to score here tonight. Well, Veferiga now going into a very interesting zone defense. Elias Valton in from the corner doesn't get but an offensive rebound here for Maressa. Tries to get the Valton now. Valton down the middle. Tries to hang it. Gets rejected. Well, great defense. And jump is going to be cool. I mean, that's good stuff there from Brooks. Just being a solid rim protector there for Vefriga. Well, Valton thinks he's got it. Brooks says, no in me, Casa. Well, no in to Casa.
Well, possession now are going in favor of Veferiga. Problem now for them, trailing by 13 points, under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Hamilton now, trying to go all the way to the basket. Well, had an opening there, didn't take it. Well, gets it back in the corner, he tries another three-point, the three is up, and again, the perimeter shot's not dropping it, but the offensive rebounds are going to them. They try another three-point, this time he gets it. Well, much needed three points by Mattis Gulbis. And again, Veferiga continuing to force the effort there from the perimeter. And now they got to play defense is. Tries to go out of bounds. I think they're going to call foul, so it's going to be possession. Two man rest on the baseline. I believe it's the fourth team foul here for Veferiga, so no more fouls to give. Giving this one up here to Danny Garcia. Garcia now giving it up to Valton. And Valton misses last three points, takes another one way off the mark. And now Vafriga with a chance to cut it down to single digits. Well, there's a cross court. Well, Golbus made his last three, takes another one. This time he gets it. Well, Golbus now going two for two from the perimeter. Gulbis now doing exactly what Veferiga wants. Somebody to come off the bench and just spread the defense by able to hit those perimeter shots. The question is now, can Manaressa respond? Well, Perez now, he tries a three in the corner, way off the mark. Well, probably not gonna be a two for one here for Veferiga, they turn it over. Well, now it's gonna go all the way and lays that one up, avoids the foul. And puts back to Manaressa back up by nine points. And the blocking foul is going to be cool. That's not the worst foul in the world to give away by Danny Garcia. I say Roberts Bergens is very lucky not to come up with a foul there, of course. I think he timed that perfectly, but he was never going to get the block shot. But Again, the one thing when you go for those kind of defensive plays where you try to make blocks from behind in transition, you've always got to be careful that you don't overcommit yourself and it turns into an unsportsmanlike foul. Now, Roberts Bergen's a very smart player, of course, great defensive IQ. I think he was lucky that nothing prevailed out of that situation. But now Veferiga trailing by nine points. Can try and dribble this one down here for the last shot of the first quarter. Zurich's now here being heavily guided. Zurich goes down the middle, puts up a little teardrop, and he sinks that one. Now my rest has got a few seconds here. He can try and get this one up as Baggio tries it, throws it up, hits the front iron. But ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, Baximan Ressa, they lead this one by seven points at 25 to 18 over Veferiga. A little slight bit of miscommunication there, but look at this from Zurich's. Just easily beating Baggio down the middle. Uh, no help side defense whatsoever. Well, we'll show you some stats and some highlights here from the first quarter. But at the moment, the team that made it to last year's final where they lost against Lenovo Tenerife, and they win this one by seven points so far. Well, man, rest is so far 7 for 10 from the field, while Veferig only 3 for 7. But again, you can see that both teams 11 three-point field goal attempts. 4 for 11 from Veferig. Let's take a look at the highlights here from the first quarter. Well, Jared Cotton, of course, he has two three-pointers. I mean, he was putting some moves on early on. I think it was going to be a good night for him so far. And there was... Step back there from Atze, but kicking this one out to Nathaniel. And Tyson Paris, of course, having the big shoes to fill this season here. Four backs in the rest. Remember, last season was a great year for them. Well, Avram as well stepping up, hitting that one three point field goal. 
It's only coincidence that his last name is Hodden, and he is left-handed. Seven point ball game now. You can see here Vafriga just trying to go into this little shimmy zone. There's Hardy going all the way to kiss that one off the backboard. Oh, Jarek Hardy just put the moves on at the moment. Well, Zurich's now here trying to lead things in the backcourt. As Golba's trying to post up here. Gets caught in double team, turns it over. Valton now put the crossover, kicks out the heart in the corner, tries another three point, it's up, and it's no good there. Well, that would have been real special if you made that play. We're trying to pick and roll play here now. And Zurich's again, just trying to find gaps here, trying to break this defense down. Kicks out to Abraham now. Abraham finding Golbus. Golbus down the middle, puts up a little dream hook shot. He goes in like magic. Well, reminiscent of the time in the Boston Garden where Magic made that hook shot. This time it's in Manresa. Well, the backdoor play. I think that's going to come off Elias Valson, so it's another turnover here for Manresa. Just taking a touch off the left leg there of the Finnish International. Well, Elias Valton now going to the bench and taking a breather. Well, Marcus Steinbergs, along with Giordano Bortolani in the game, along with Danny Garcia, Tyson Perez, and Jared Goddard. So it's a small lineup. Manresa trying to play with. Kicks out the Habrams. He made his last three. Takes another one, doesn't get it. Manresa. Gonna throw this one away. It's gonna be a baseline ball to Vefriga. Again, they've got to take care of the basketball. Well, there's a pick and roll scenario now. Tries to attack the basket, goes in, missed a wide open look. Well, he's got to finish that one. There's Andrish Mishka. And I think what the official may be uh, identifying is that the rim may have been touched there. I believe that's what's happened. So look at the replay. Well, backboard was touched, excuse me. So that's why the two points have been awarded to Vefriga. Excuse me, two points have not been awarded, but again, another shot in the corner as Jarek Harding. I mean, this guy is taking this game over. All he needs to do right now is just grow a big beard at the moment and become the beard of the Basketball Champions League. What do you say, Jarek? Well, he can just cause so many problems and so many defenses in so many ways. Another step back three by Vefriga. They don't get it. Harding with a rebound. Quick pass to transition. Showtime, man, rest of basketball. Well, you gotta love that play there. As Bortolani just quickly in transition, but Jarek Hardin, I mean, look at this quick time. I mean, that's a bit of showtime. The backseat Manresa. Well, the foul has been called. It's on Abrams, so it's gonna be two free throws here for Bortolani, the Italian international.
Well, 21 years of age, the young Italian international, of course, last season played his basketball, actually in the Basketball Champions League with Nutribulli Treviso, where he averaged 11.8 points per game, which they did make it to the round of 16, of course. Prior to that, he was at Brescia and also played briefly in Biela. So we're talking about a very talented young player. Well, Bortolani now moving up to six points here. Well, coming to penetration now. Pretty a tough one, doesn't get it, gets his own rebound. Tries to tip that, can't get it. And at the moment, Vefriga just trying to make anything happen here. Well, Hamilton had some good looks there, but he's got to try and finish that one. He's got to be more of a threat here for the offense on Vef Riga. Turn it over. And I think back to the rest of it, do just the same thing. Vefriga now pump fake. And again, wasted an opportunity there in transition, but you can see what Ate was trying to do. Everything is becoming from the perimeter. Well, Zurich's now putting too much on it. Now they got numbers here. Paris comes up with it. Paris all the way. Hangs in the air. Goes out of bounds. That's going to be Vefriga ball. He's asking why the foul wasn't called, of course, but again, I think that was great transition recovery defense there from Vefriga. Hamilton now coming off the screen here with Brooks. Kicking this one to Abram. Now Abram has a one three-point field goal here for Vefriga. Just trying to discover the identity in their offense. Brooks trying to force his way now, goes in with a hook shot. And Brooks, he's got to assert himself. And he's got to keep pushing that issue down low against the Baxman and rest of the defense. Well, that's his first field goal of the game now. Tyson Perez with a pump fake, goes down the middle. And this time the foul is called, I believe. Now the foul's on the ground, so it's going to be a baseline ball hit at Baxman and Ressa. It's only going to be the second team foul here for Vefriga. Now, I think what Vef Riga want, they want the charge called. As you can see, Brooks stood his ground very well, but the reason why I agree with the official on this one is because Avrams comes in and reaches from the side. So I agree 100% it's a defensive foul, no doubt. Valet now here finding Danny Perez has just checked in the game. Is Hyden catch and shoot from the perimeter. Oh, baby! Jarek Hyden has come ready to play here tonight. Well, he has 14 points. He's four for seven from the perimeter. Hamilton now coming off one screen with Brooks. Finds the big man under the basket. It doesn't get the end one, but again, a beautiful pick and roll execute. And that's what Vef Riga have to do, of course. I mean, the thing I love about that play was Hamilton comes off the screen, makes a little penetration. Here's where he draws the two defenders, and Brooks is wide open. You gotta dunk that big fella. But again, he's gonna go to the free throw line here for two shots. Well, Brooks, as we mentioned, only just got his first field goal of the game so far. Well, Stans is seven feet tall, of course. Just entering the prime of his career. Harden now going in the lane, pulls up in the mid range, hits the back iron, doesn't get it. Well, it's only a 10 point ball game now. Definitely within sight here for Vefriga, but they got to make something count. Pick and roll again. There's the kick out. This time they get an open look. The three is up, and it starts with the pick and roll. 
And again, when you make the defense shift, you get the wide open looks, and all of a sudden, Vefriga's offense looking a lot different hit. As now Baxman Ressa have to call timeout. But again, you can see here, Daniel Hamilton going to that pick and roll with Brooks, causing the defense to collapse, which led to that wide open perimeter shot. Well, let's go and listen into the timeout. Well, that is hard and just going to the office and just putting in the work, clocking in and out. Well, there was Daniel Hamilton, the one three point he had in the first quarter. Tyson Perez as well in the corner hitting that three pointer. Well, seven point ball game. I like, turn it over. Well, now Vefriga, they got a numbers here in transition, but again, they slow this one down. But double dribble there by Ate. Well, again, a very lax day. It's going to very costly error from a primetime professional. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Well, right there, of course, should, no arguments. Well, I think what he was trying to do, of course, he was trying to dish it off to Brooks. Which I don't think Brooks particularly wants to get the ball to midcourt and transition because he's running trailer, of course. But, you know, I'd say he's a great player, but he's got to take care of the rock. That's a costly play there. Now Paris left wide open. They go to Valette. The Argentine International goes to three pointers and get it. Goes out of bounds. It will be Vef Rigobon. I don't think the home crowd agree with that call. Well, the officials now have changed the decision, I believe. No, they haven't. Excuse me. Sorry for that ankle. It looked like they changed the decision, but... I think the officials now may... may just go and check this one. So now we're going to have a look at the replay one more time. And again, what are you going to make of this? Do you think the decision should be changed? Let's have a look at the replay again. Let's go and listen into what the officials have to say here. <laughs> well, I think the officials, here's a look at the three point. There's a three pointer by Valette. As the ball comes down, when does the last touch come? Let's see both hot in. Oh, that's got to be Vefriga ball. There should be no arguments. And I think what Jarek Hot in maybe is trying to say that. Well, I don't know there because no, they're going to keep the call there. Definitely comes up a hot in. I mean, from the angle we just saw, maybe it's a little bit different from another angle. It's hard to tell, but I mean, just just my assumption, of course. Well, Vefriga, the best team in Latvia, going up against one of the best teams in the ACB from last season. It's been a slow start for Baxman and Ressa. Of all the teams in the Basketball Champions League, you think about it, you get the likes of Unikaha, along with Bill Bauno, and of course, 
The Lex Lenovo Tenerife. Bilbao and Tenerife. Well, we got a steal now. Hodden. Well, what do we have? I think we have potentially a foul call here, I think, or a turnover. Let's have a look here. Well, I'm not quite sure what was called there, actually. So the unsportsmanlike foul, I think, is going to be called. So Harden's going to go to the free throw line now for two shots, and he's going to get the ball back. As he makes the first one. Well, Jarek Harden, of course. What a pickup he has been so far here for Baxman Rest. Remember last season, had the Basketball Champions League experience where he had two years playing for Ira Basketball Nimburg in the Czech Republic. Watch his good hands there. And again, you can see that the left arm of Brooks, just the slightest bit of unnecessary contact is what led to the unsportsmanlike foul. So again, if you're not used to watching international basketball, any foul that's deemed unnecessary, Valette goes in with a little hook shot. That's smooth move. Wow. Sweet little Argentine music there. Well, Valette, the play that was more or less a role player last season for Man Rest in the Basketball Champions League and in the ACB. Having to step up now. Well, fakes the pass now. Tries another three of three. Is a little bit too much on it. Valette with a rebound. He turns it over. Well, that's he tries another three. He puts it up. And Brooks tries to push from behind, and again, no foul called. I think that's what the home crowd want. Well, there's the three-pointer by Ate. Well, I think Brooks is very lucky. Well, I think he gets called for it, actually. Yeah, he does. That's his third foul. And that's why that's such a silly foul to give away. Because if he has to go to the bench, take a breather, that's going to be a problem for Veferiga. Well, there's a penetration foul left for another three-point in the corner. And again, he can't get it. And again, Veferiga, another chance to chip into deficit here. But now Manresa pick up the third team foul. Well, the foul was going to be called on Musa Sanya. Well, he's only just checked into the game. Is now Branjo Abadio checking into the game here. Ten point lead now. Tries to split the defense on the pick. Romy turns it over. And now Baggio, transition, tries to go all the way, avoids the block, and kisses it off the backboard. Well, the man with the great defense is coming into the game. The Senegalese international just doing what he does best. Well, Baggio... been moments of course where you can see Vefriga look like they're going to kind of get back in this one but it costs some turnovers and unsportsmanlike fouls just take the deficit back to double digits well they were down by seven points and Ate came up with a steal of course he turned it over with an unnecessary double dribble you know which he tried to dish it off to someone who was probably better to handle the rock in transition but in that case you got to take more responsibility I don't think of Vefriga they want to try and get this one down to single digits 
going into the second half while Paxman rests up. Want to keep pushing forward as much as possible. Goes baseline now, goes in with a reverse slap, and again, well, traveling violations called. I was gonna say, maybe just put a little bit too much on the reverse slab, but at that point, I think, realized that the travel had been close. Look at the replay hit. Oh, definitely a travel. Changes pivot foot from left to right. Brancho Badio now giving this one up here. Danny Perez tries to step back. A little bit too short on that one. The rebound secured. Now Vefri get numbers in transition. Again, don't get anything here in transition. It's been a problem here for Vefriga. The inability to play fast break basketball. Well, another turnover. Good defense. Does all the way to get throws it down in transition. Well, Martin Steinbergs. Steinbergs. There you can see he just throws it down. Well, now it's a 14 point lead here for Baxman Ressa. Perhaps now he's got to make this one. Trying to help him out, doesn't get it. Columbus with a rebound. Well, I think they're going to call another offensive foul at the moment. Veferiga completely falling asleep here on offense. Just mistake after mistake at the moment. Unable to self assert themselves. Throw down there by Steinbergs with a bit of authority. Well, against his fellow countrymen here, showing exactly why he's made it to the ACB and why he's playing for a big club such as Baxman Ressa. Well, just under two minutes to go here in the second quarter. At the moment, last season's finalist, Baxman Ressa, leading this one. All right, 14 points over, Veferigo. Pancho Badio now looks for a crossover. Finds Steinbergs now, kicks in the corner. Try another three-pointer, doesn't get it. But they're going to call an offensive foul, I believe, against Danny Perez. No, Tyson Perez, excuse me, for the over the back. Zerks now dealing with the pressure here from the pick and roll. We go down low here to Ate. Veferiga again looking for some options here. Golbis trying to post up here against Tyson Perez. Trying to muscle his way in two seconds. Has to take a tough fadeaway. And they're going to call foul now. And again, it's very poor defense by Tyson Perez because they forced him into a tough shot with two seconds left on the shot clock. And now they just bailed him out. I mean, Tyson Perez, all you got to do is keep your hands up. It's a low percentage shot there. So now Golbis, exactly what Baxman Ressa don't want to do. While well, currently at the free throw line is Mades Golbis from Riga, Latvia. Started his professional career back in 2000, the 37 year old as he is now with BK Lenas. She came to Vef Riga in 2007, replayed for two seasons. I also played in Lithuania for BC Cholet before returning back to play for BK Ventureville, another team that played here in the Basel Champions League. And again, this is now his second stint here with Veferiga, as he joined last season for the first time. So a very long time, over a decade, as he makes his second free throw. Our provisional substitution is Hamilton's coming back into the game. Is now pick and roll under oh baby throws it down well the Latvian international on his fellow countrymen well you just gotta love that play Steinbergs 
At the moment, looks like he's got a point to prove here. Against a team from his own backyard. How much he tries to lob and throws it away. Well, they try a quick transition play. Well, 45 seconds to go here in the first half, of course. Both teams in the penalty. Kicks this one out now. Valdez, he's taking a few threes. Still can't get the drop, but Steinberg's at the moment just punishing his Latvian friends, of course. Players that he sees in the national team practices. Well, 10 seconds difference here between the game clock and the shot clock. Cool miss now. He's made a few threes. Doesn't get this one. And now Baxman Wrestler can get the last shot here of the first half. Danny Perez now wants to go pick and roll here with Steinberg. This is what's been killing Vef Riga. Well, they go to Valette. Valette down the middle with a little sweet Moibalita finger roll right at the end of the first half. And where is the Vef Riga defense? Nowhere to be seen. Well, Valette now the Argentine International just completely punishes. I mean, this is too easy. I mean, he just beats him off the dribble. And again, Abrams too slow to react there. Collectively, Vef Riga really struggling on defense. Let's take a look at the stats now. This is an 18 point lead to the last season's finalist, Baxman Ressa. Well, man, Ressa only five three pointers as well as Vef Riga, five for 17. Winchester's stat there, Vefriga leading the rebounds 24 to 14. But the assist there, you can see Manaresa, just a team that knows how to facilitate the basketball. Jarek Harden and Juan Pablo Valet, along with Bortolani, top scores here. By Golbis and Hamilton, not enough at the moment for Vefriga. We're going to take a look at the highlights now here from the first half. Well, here's some of the key highlights here from the first half between these two teams. And at the moment, you can see Baxman Ressa, just arguably the better team between the two. Well, Ressa's done a good job, of course, of forcing Vefriga. It's a very low percentage, tough shots, but the problem right now at the moment as Vef Riga is trying to make everything count for the perimeter. Both teams with only five three-point field goals. Three of those coming from Jarek Hodden. Well, there was a strong post play by Brooks. Of course, the back to the rest, they got to keep maintaining the pressure. One thing is, stat has gone not in their favor is the fact that Vef Riga has really been doing a good job without rebounding them. But a lot of that is down to the second chances. A smooth little curl around the screen by Bowlet there. Well, this is where they try to curl the screen, of course, with Baggio. 
Senegalese international just kissing it off the backboard. Steinberg's. Steinberg's just doing enough there. Of course, coming up with some key, key possessions. And again, the big man just punishing his venture co fellow countrymen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back for the second half in just over 10 minutes. This is game day two of the Basketball Champions League. Some great action around Europe tonight. We're seeing a lot of it here from Almeida. And Benfica only a point behind coming this third quarter. And Benfica are having a time of it. So is even Almeida. Ragland's turnover here. And uh, that is some way to finish the quarter. Good interception to start with, and then he was uh, aware of the time as well. Just fizzles out. Gibbs. Lovely from Gibbs. Unlucky for Johnson. And now a chance for Legia. Lovely skill from McCallum. Oh, that's incredible. Bersens with three, McCollum with two. And Darashat got hold on to leave. Remember, it was last season on the opening day of the basketball champs and Kinad Kashiak came up with a victory. We'll find Hankins, throws it down with a bit of authority. And Zach Hankins. But look at Zach Hankins here. Running the floor like a gazelle. Two old trade arc in the early stages. No, oh, easy move, oh, easy move, what a basketball end goaler. Oh, 
12 seconds of shot clock. Can they get a stop? Eric Mitt with a big three. Oh my god! Oh my god! This man is just done. He had it, he had it, he knew it, and he's just in his 29th point of the game, but what a time! Now this is a mismatch. Kabaga has a mismatch, he goes inside. Beautiful by Sidi Kabaga, wrapped it down! But watch this, up, oh, boom, boom! And slams it down. Get out of the way! Thirty seconds to play. It's Smith to win it potentially. Stevens was watching him. He couldn't get close enough. Oh boy, Falcon and the ball just slipped out of his hands. And racing down. Look at that, boy, what an explosive play by Graves. Right in the face of Perez.
Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, now to the second half of this Basel Champions League Game Day 2 fixture between last season's finalist, Baxman Ressa, and the visitors, Vef Riga. Well, at the moment now, it's an 18-point lead here to the host, Jared Garden, leading all scorers in the moment here. Followed up by the Argentine International, Juan Pablo Valdez, the 2022 FIBA America Cup champion, winning this summer against Brazil in the final in Arecife, Brazil. Well, this is one of the hottest atmospheres here in Europe. Pia Vasco, the Manaresa fans, very passionate. Well, one thing you can be sure about the home crowd, even though it's only an 18-point lead, they will get behind that team as if they're coming back into this game. That is the beauty. Well, tries to go in the lane now. A strong little post up there by Brooks, but again, where has that been? In the first half, and Brooks with a defensive play there. Well, they got to try and force the ball down to the big man. Caused a lot of problems. Brooks down the middle, goes in a little Euro step. And they're going to call an offensive foul. And again, when we say get the ball to Brooks, he's got to get it with his back to the basket. As Marcus Lee there just draws the charging foul. Well, Brooks tries to go for the Euro step. But Lee does a great job. That's how you really step out and you take the offensive foul. Keep your hands up. Well, Brooks picks up his fourth personal. So the question is, is he going to leave the game here? Well, I turn it over now. Well, the problem here for Veffery, can they score in transition? So everything gets slowed down here. Well, I've this Ate now here on the ball. Fighting Brooks, and again, they got to get that rhythm here on offense. Zurich's for a no man's land three point, but he's fouled again. Well, that's a silly foul by Danny Perez because. You know, that makes Veffery go 5 for 18 from the perimeter. But why are you going over commit? Yourself on defense is now they're going to be able to cut it down here to a 13 point ball game. So, potential 5 0 run here at the start of the second half of F. Riga. Well, the officials now just trying to establish the time on the clock, of course. But now it's going to be free throws here for Veferiga. Oh, again, he missed the first one. And at the moment, it looks like a lot is going here for Veferiga. Well, Chris Zurich's the man who's played his entire career so far. Remember, he went to St. Mary's College, leaving in 2020. Played at New Hampton High School, originally from Dobele, Latvia. Only 24 years of age. Well, goes one for three from the charity stripe. And again, it doesn't draw a lot of confidence here for the Veferiga fans. Watching back home with the players on the bench. Jarek Hyden now trying to wheel his way and kicks this one in the corner. Trying to three from Tyson Perez, no good. Veferiga again, you know, this one thing they don't have in the team is the ability to try and push the tempo here in transition. Everything is very much in the half court. 
And when you're chasing the game, of course, it makes it tough as Ate tries a three-pointer. And again, make that now a 7-0 run here. Exactly what Veferiga needed. Well, 6-0 run, excuse me, part of my mathematics. Well, Harding gets caught in a double team, but they're going to call a foul now. I think the foul is going to be called against... Well, it's not going to be called on Artis Artis. They're going to call that against Jamar Abrams, I believe. Well, watch Abrams here in the double team. Well, that's a tough one. Because my immediate reaction was I don't think there was too much on the reach there by Abrams. Probably the momentum from behind, which knocked over Jarek Harden. is probably where they're going to call the foul. Jamar Abrams now a veteran basketball player. Key addition this season here with Africa. Last season was playing for Iraklis and Thessaloniki. She started with the main Red Claws. Now the main, main Celtics, of course. A three-pointer by Valet. Well, they've been leaving him wide open. Puts it back up to a 15-point ball game now. The FIBA America champion punishes Vefriga. Well, goes out now to Abrams. Abrams to three. He's made one so far. Doesn't get this one. And they're going to call the push in the back, I believe, against Jarek Harden. Well, Jarek Harden on the rebound just gives a slight little push from behind against Robert Bergens. Look at the rebound here. Well, it's a minimal of contact, but again, just enough there to solidify the call by the official. Well, I'd say that and again, a bit of a delay call, but he draws a foul. It's going to be called on Bortolani. So that's now the 13th foul here for Vefriga. Well, give and go from the perimeter. They try another three-point again. It's no good. Well, it's been everything that Vefriga's trying to go for here tonight. Just hasn't been dropping for them. Perez now kicks out the Valet. He made his last three-pointer again. Way off the mark on that one. Well, the VIP was wide open. And again, with his popcorn and his Coca-Cola, probably could nail that one from downtown. But the problem for Maximum Wrestler, he's not on the stat line here tonight. Well, Burgess now goes down the middle and draws another foul. It's going to be two shots there as he was found in the process of shooting. Foul is going to be called again on Jericho. Now watch Bergens. That's a hot foul, of course. I mean, it's a good one. But exactly what Vefriga need. Again, not just settling for perimeter shots, trying to get to the free throw line. Putting Baxman and Russia under pressure. Well, Robert Bergens... 21 years of age, last season average 6.5 points per game when he played for BK Liapaya. She started his professional career in the second division in Spain for CB Prat. Well, Valet, of course, being again left wide by Abrams, tries to spin out, goes in. That is just B E A beautiful, guapo, bonito baloncesto from Juan Pablo Valet. Well, 17 points for the Argentine. Well, Burge is now trying to cross over. Goes out of bounds. That's going to be Vefriga Ball. 15-point lead still here to Baxi Manresa. Well, trying to curl off one screen. Tries a shot there. Now that's going to be two two shots there for Krista Zorix. It was already now under seven minutes to go, and Manresa already in the penalty. The foul is going to be called against Marcus Lee. There you can see just coming out hedging a little too slow and aggressively on the pick and roll. Well, here comes the monster, Marcus Steinbergs. Well, Steinbergs, of course, caused a lot of problems for Vefriga. Well, Lishka also coming into the game here for Vefriga. Well, again, the free throw shooting has been abysmal so far from Vefriga. He's been to the free throw line now four times, and he's only made one for four so far. 
Can you make all four of those free throws? Plus that one is a 10 point bowl game. Again, you never want to look back in the game and think the outcome could have been different had you made all your free throws. It's why it's so important to step up and just to hit from the charity stripe, of course, I mean, like a gift but at the moment. Veferiga, victims of their own downfalls. Valet tries to go to the basket, turns it over. A great defense by Jamar Abrams. And now Veferiga, another chance here to chip into the deficit. Well, it's another foul there on Steinberg, so it's going to be another two free throws here for Veferiga. Oh, it's a little bit of careless on defense. Oh, Andreas Mishka, not the greatest free throw shooter, but again, you got to question the, the overall defense here from this team for Baxman Ressler. Just a little bit too easy. And he makes the first one. Well, currently as well in this group, Limoges at the moment hosting Benfica, the Portuguese giants of international sport. And that's a very close game to say the least. It's going to be a very competitive group here in the Basketball Champions League. As Mishka misses the second free throw. 13-point lead to Baxi Maressa. Hiding now, splits the defense, goes in with a tough shot. And somehow, someway, Jarek Hiden just scores the impossible of baby jump hooks. 17 points now, 6 for 10 for the field from Harding. Well, they go down low here to Mishka. Mishka trying to force his way in. Kicks out. Goes down the middle now. Finds Mishka again on the basket. He missed a wide open look. Well, at the moment, you can see here, Vefriga lacking the confidence. And as Harding draws a foul here in transition. Well, currently in the other game at the moment, Limoges. Are up two points here with over a minute to go in the fourth quarter against Benfica. Well, there was the tough shot there by Jarek Harding. Well, Harding is just fantastic, isn't he? The fans now just trying to get back in this one. Well, Valet's made one three, takes another one. This time he six it. Uno, dos, tres. Por favor. Another three pointer for downtown. A much needed three points there for Veferiga. Again, emotionally just keeping themselves in this game. Well, it's only a 15 point lead, but again, Manaressa. Need to close this one out. Vefriga need to keep clawing back in this one. Jarek Hyden now on the ball. Trying to double crossover. Kicks out to Wadham Valet. Down low to Valtanen. Valtanen goes in with a little jump hook. And he finishes that one. And the finish international will go to the free throw line to finish it off. Well, smooth bit. Well, the Susi Yangi with a pump fake. Kitos, as they would say in Finland. Thank you very much. Now coming off the screen with Steinbergs. Trying to put the moves on this. A kick out to get a three in the corner. Garcia with a three-pointer. And Danny Garcia sinks a triple. All of a sudden, it's a 21-point ball game here to Maximo Ressa. 
Well, they almost turn it over now. Trying to get a handoff now. We gotta get something going. Tries another three point. The three is up. It's no good. Goes over the backboard. And now will be an out of bounds violation. Harden curls the screen, takes it, doesn't get the and one, but he will go back to the charity stripe here for the two shots. Well, I think that's going to be three shots, actually. Let's have a look at the replay, I believe. Well, watch how he curls the screen. Well, it's tough to say. I thought he was behind the line, but it's very possible he just had a foot on. It was Banjo Badio, the Senegalese international feature for Senegal this summer at the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Remember that a big win against both Tunisia and against South Sudan. And what great experience bringing that into the basketball Champions League here. Well, Jared Cotton, as we said, has been a huge addition so far here for Baxman Ressa. Well, he introduced himself to European basketball last season when he played for Euro Nimburg in the Czech Republic for two seasons, actually, excuse me, originally from Wichita, Kansas, 24 years of age, and went to Weber State for four seasons. On well, his last season at Weber State, which his last three seasons from junior year, sorry, sophomore to senior, he averaged plus 20 points per game. Again, shows you why he's made it here all the way to a professional league. Well, 22 point lead now here to Maximin Ressa. Plenty of time left in this game. It's not over here for Vefriga, but they've got to try and collect themselves. And that's not one way to do it. It goes out of bounds, but it's going to be possession back to Vefriga. There's a shot at the end of the shot clock. They don't get it. Now let tries to score the rebound. They're going to call foul there. And I believe it's going to be two free throw shots now as they're in the penalty. And again, nothing seems to be working here for Vefriga. It's going to be a big season here for Juan Pablo Valdez. I mean, again, if he can go from being an ultimate role player, which he was last season for this team, as they competed very heavily in the ACB, but also making it to the final of the Basketball Champions League, making that transition to being now one of the go-to players, it's going to be a good season again here for Baxima and Ressa. And at the moment, 25-point lead, but it was their head coach who said last week that he felt Benfica were the best team here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Benfica are up by three points against Limoges with four seconds left. Well, you can watch that on the other channel here of live, excuse me, at courtside 1891. Well, goes out of bounds, another turnover. Valton now left wide open. He takes it and the Susi Yangi nails it from downtown. Well, the man who featured for Finland this summer at the FIBA Eurobasket. They had a great run up until their defeat against Spain. Again, hits his first three point of the night. And the foul has been called against Tyson Perez.
Well, the key thing for these two teams is try to finish off as strong as possible. At the moment, you can see here emotionally, Vef Riga appeared to really have thrown the towel in on Baxman and Ressa. Again, they don't want to give up themselves. They got to keep pushing up as much as possible. Danny Garcia stepping up in the first free throw because you got to remember when these two teams play the reverse fixture, it could go either way. But the one thing Baxman and Ressa don't want to do is put themselves in a situation where they could lose a head to head. So that's why you want to keep on winning by as many points as possible. 28 point lead here to Maressa. out of bounds it's gonna be possession back to Manresa oh, in the lane now tries to finish that one doesn't get it but now Vefriga and the key for them is they want to, if, you know, they're not going to be able to get back in this game. I mean, it's not that they can't, of course, but if they can't do that, they want to chip the deficit down as much as possible. Skolbis tries to three off the dribble, doesn't get it. Well, that's been the problem here for Vefriga. Really, it's been living and dying from the perimeter, not getting anything in transition. And again, with a player like Brooks, they haven't been able to use his strength, size, and physicality in the low block. Off now, looking for options here. Danny Garcia goes down to Leva, doesn't get it. That one's that beautifully executed play, but just put a little bit too much on it off the backboard. We almost feel like the way this game has gone, it's the fourth quarter. But we've got another quarter to go here. It's Manresa. Again, he'll be looking to blow this game out as much as possible. Corpus turns around, bit of contact, doesn't get it. But the foul has been dropped, and that's a good move there. That's the question with Vef Riga, you know. They haven't been able to mix their game up. I mean, they've tried persistently to orchestrate as much as they can from the three-point line, but they got to tell themselves that, you know, it's okay to go with something different, try something else, mix it up. And the post play hasn't been too bad here tonight. We've seen that with the likes of Brooks and now Gulbis. Tyson Perez has to go to the bench, take a breather. Gulbis unable to get the second free throw. And now it's a 27 point ball game still. Rancho Badio here coming off one screen. Again, Baxman and Ressa trying to punish him as much as possible. Well, Musa Sani also into the game here along with Marcus Lee. There's a penetration, there's a kick out, there's a three pointer. It's up, it's good from downtown. Well, Elias Valton in sinking the three pointer. Well, 30 point ball game here to Manresa. Abrams with a three in the corner. It's up, it's no good. Garcia now looking to push this one. Garcia almost turning it over. Goes in the lane, puts up a little teardrop. He can't get it. Well, the offensive board secured by Lee. Rancho Badio for three. He'll take it. Can't get it. But another offensive rebound. Well, Garcia will try a three, and again, he can't get it. But finally, Vefriga come up with a loose ball now. Seven seconds to go here in the third quarter. Corbis trying to force his way in off the backboard. No and one called. Well, they got a second left. Can shoot it. Puts it up. Oh, he's got it off the backboard. That would have been something special. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the third quarter. Baxman Ressa, last season's finalist. They lead this one by 28 points. And again, Gulbis 
Feferiga looking like a different team when they try to get, attack the basket. Because at the moment, you know Baxman Rest is going to anticipate three-point shots, and they're going to allow Feferiga to take those shots, of course. Well, there are the stats. 10 three-pointers, 38% for the perimeter. For Manresa, 7 for 27 for Veferiga. Let's take a look at the highlights here from the third quarter. Well, here are some of the top highlights from the third quarter. Well, this is the play I liked here from Veferiga, trying to throw the ball down low to Brooks and just allow him to isolate. And Brooks did pick up his fourth personal foul in the next play where they... Well, here he gets the transition, the block shot. Well, the three-pointer for Mate. At that point, they did able to cut it down to a 12-point ball game. But Baxman Rest just went to a whole new level, running away with this one. At which point, it didn't look like there was any point of return here for Vefriga. Trying to make the penetration now. Finding Brooks again on the basket. The big man just finished it. And maybe he's something that they need to try and orchestrate their offense through in the future. You can see just with his size and physicality, but also his touch around the basket. A great defense by Atazate. And now he can push this one. But again, decides to slow it down. We'll tries a hesitation move. And that's just something that needs to prove it for Vefriga. We throw it away as Elias Valtinen. With a steal now, Valtanen is going to try and push this one. A good transition recovery defense, but they leave Valtanen. He's hit two threes, takes one. Elias Valtanen, kudos. Thank you very much. As they would say in Finland, Suomi Koripaloa, Susi Yangi, the man for the Finnish national team. Well, let that one go. Big time shot there from the Finnish international. Hits his third treble of the night. There are some of the most passionate fans here in Europe, the Baxman and Wrestle fans, as all of the other great basketball fans we have here in the Basketball Champions League. All they're saying is, Sami Manresa, let's go, Baxi Manresa, as they would say here. At the moment, 29 point ball game, the full court pressure coming from Baxi Manresa. Well, they get the ball of the court, just avoiding 
The eight second violation goes up now. Great defense by Bradshaw Patio. And now they can push this one here with Danny Perez. A foul is going to be called here. It's a first team foul. Well, Albert Putans gets called for the reaching foul there in transition. Paris now looking to give this one up, finding Marcus Lee getting a handoff. Paris throws the alley. Sami Manresa! Well, good night, Baxi Manresa. What an lob there. Well, quick response down the other end. Can they get the three point? They can't get it. Brooks with the offensive rebound. Trying to make things happen. A few seconds on the shot clock. Got to force his way in. Goes in with a dream hook. Can't get it. 31 point lead into Baxman Ressa. Quick transition. Doesn't get it, but goes out of bounds. And that will be Vefriga Ball. Well, that's where the fans say, Bonanit, good night, Magrada, Baxman Ressa. Well, this is what they love here. The passionate fans, the give and go. Danny Perez with a lob there to Marcus Lee. Well, the full court pressure here causing all sorts of problems. I mean, Marcus Lee is just working so hard here. Trying to put the pressure here against them. We're on the town of the shot clock. There's Vef Riga. At the moment here, just looking for something, but again, it's going to be a kickball. So fresh 14 on the shot clock for Vef Riga. Turn it over, and now Manresa with Elias Valtzen. He turns it right back over. Well, Valtzen is just a little bit too casual with the basketball in transition. Ten on the shot clock here for Veth Riga. They got to get something going here. Trying by 31 points. The key for them will be to try to cut it down from plus 20. As Zate tries a three-pointer. Doesn't get it. For the rebound. Secured beautifully by Musa Sanya. As Paris now uses the screen for Marcus Lee. Paris kicks out the corner. They try a three. The three is up. The three is no good, but the offensive rebound by Elias Valtanen. Six in the shot clock now here for Paris. Paris back to a plate. Kicks out Valtanen. 4 3. Gets it to drink. He drinks that one down. Well, fourth treble tonight here for Elias Valtanen as he is having ice water for his drinks at the moment. And he is thirsty for more three-pointers. Well, that's the thing about Elias Valtanen. You saw last season really playing as an ultimate role player on the perimeter, but at the moment you can see playing more of a power forward role here for Baxman Ressa as the three is again in and out. And it just isn't dropping here tonight for Vef Riga. Trying to curl the screen now. Look for options in the post. Goes up. Quick turnaround. Still can't get it. Well, the Rock just doesn't want to go in the hoop. But a foul has been committed. Well, foul is going to be called an Andres Mishka. Look at the back door play. Find it. An open Susi Yengi. One more time. Kitos. Thank you for up Suomi.
control the screen now. Six on the shot clock. It's called a double team. Steinberg's now kicks out. And goes out of bounds. That's a turnover. So it's going to be possession. Back to Veferiga. 5-11 to go here in the fourth quarter. Mount Russell leading by 34 points. Total blowout at the moment. As for now, it's about pride for Veferiga. They got to make sure they keep battling. Well, there's a cross court in the corner. Three is up. Well, three is way off the mark. But happens with the offensive rebound, and he gets the AM1. And he'll go to the free throw line to try and cut it down to a 31 point deficit. And that was the first score for Vef Riga in quite a while, of course. But you can see the confidence of this team. That's the first field goal for Abraham since the three point shot he had in the first quarter. Well, no, one of the things you could say here for Vef Riga is that it's a different team from last season. But again, you could make the same point here for Baxman Wrestler. But the difference is. You know, these Matt Wrestle players, they know what's expected of them. A team that made it to the final last year. Oh, Garcia now playing the point guard role. Crossing over now, looking for options. He tries a cute pass there, but a few seconds on the shot clock. Has to pull up for deep three. Three is up. It goes over the backboard, but... <laughs> I want to see that one again. That will not count because it touched the top of the backboard, but that's something magical. That's unbelievable. I mean, look at this. Well, that's where the social medias will just say, Sami Maresa Magrada. You gotta love that. As the penetration goes up, avoids the block shot, but the foul has been called. I think they're going to call that on Danny Garcia. So it's going to be two free throw shots here for Emil's Krumens. Well, it makes a second free throw now, cutting it down to a 29-point deficit. I remember, Baxman and Ressa, they want to keep pushing ahead here, even though it's four minutes to go, and they're up by 29, because, you know, they want to blow this game out, of course, to give them a good chance going into a potential head. There's Tyson Perez will try a three, doesn't get it. But meanwhile, Vefri, you got to keep chipping back now, because if they cut it down to 20 points and they have a good night, the next time they play Matt Ressa and win by plus 20, they win the potential head-to-head. -head. But again, another offensive foul there. Well, Mill Crumman's out of control. Well, oh, excuse me, I think it's Robert Bergens actually. Now dish off another turnover, and now it's getting a little bit sloppy here for Manresa. Gets rejected. Oh, what a block shot! Well, that is just where you say this is my house. Well, Musa Sanya, no in mi casa, tu no eres bienvenido. Twenty-nine point lead in the backs of Manresa. Abrams with a pump fake now. Pulls up in the mid-range, takes a jump shot, doesn't get it. Sandy with a rebound. Now Brancho Badio here. He'll step back. He'll try another three. He'll take it. Doesn't get it. Tyson Perez now looking to slow this one down here for Baxman Ressa. Well, there's another penetration. There's another pump fake. Step back in the air ball. Well, the thing with Baxman Ressa, they're getting way too comfortable at the moment. And there's a reverse in Fanger on. He missed that one, too. As Tyson Perez tries to go behind the back. 
turns it over. No foul called in the lane now. Tries to go up and he finishes the layup. While Emil Crimmins avoids the being pinned off the backboard like a magnet on the refrigerator. Cutting it down to a 27 point ballgame. Now you got to say here that if F. Reed can get this down to 20 point deficit, that's huge for them going into potential head to head because if they have a great momentum in the second game, it is a fadeaway by Perez. Can't get it. They could potentially win a head to head. So 225, Vef Riga, the positives for them, try and get it down to a 20 point deficit. Curls the screen now, tries to go behind the back. A little bit fancy with it, and he finishes that one. Well, now it's a 25 point ball game. So Manresa, well, that's a bit of a hard foul to give away there. Probably a little bit unnecessary by Albert Putin's. Well, there was the block shot again. That's Jarek Harden now checking into the game. I think that's come off Jarek Hodden, I believe. So, well, to me, that looked like it came off Jarek Hodden. So, I feel Madresa may be very lucky to get away with that one. Again, I could be wrong. It just looked from the first angle that it did take a slight deflection off him. Well, Hodden now. He was six seconds on the shot clock. Got to get something going. Before in the shot clock now for Hodden. Fons Baggio goes up with it and end of the shot clock. A 24 second violation call. Well, still plenty of time here for Vefriga to try and cut it. I mean, they, again, they cut it down to below 20 point deficit. It just gives them a glimmer of hope going into a potential head to head when they meet the second time. Case scenario here. Say that Baxman Ressa wins this by 20 points and Vefriga win the next game by 21. Vefriga would have won the head-to-head. -head, so that's why it's so important here. Manresa, don't fall asleep. But same goes here for Vefriga. They got to make sure they don't turn the ball over. Finds Harden in transition. Jarek Harden, he gets fouled. And Jarek Harden will go to the free throw line. Well, two free throws now here for the former Ira Nimburg player. Remember, two seasons he played for Ira Nimburg. And what a game it's been for Jarek Harden. Again, a new role for him. For a team that really has the expectations of trying to get back to where they were last season. Well, it's a big, big challenge for them to make both free throws. Well, just turns it over with Butterfingers. And Harden now here with the ball in his hands. 27 point lead to Manresa. Just over a minute to go now. Tries to go baseline. Sanya throws it down. Well, Musa Sanya introduces himself. Players finish under the basket, and now we're just moments away here from this game being wrapped up. Comes back to Manresa. The last shot, and the shot is good. And he nails it at one, and that might be Bonanit. Good night here 
in Manaressa as Jerry Cotton now moves up to 22 points. 7 for 11 from the field. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a game it's been so far. The foul has been committed now. 13 foul. Well, what is your name, young man? Musa Sanya. Welcome to the Basketball Champions League. This is your moment. The new kid on the block. Well, we thank you for joining us here in Manresa for game day two of the Basel Champions League. But ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this one, it is going to be Baxi Manresa. They win this one by 29 as they win 88 to 59 against Vefriga. They now move to 2-0 along with Benfica, also 2-0 here. Well, it's going to be the Battle of Iberia as both the team from Portugal and Spain are top of this group. Well, it was a fantastic game here, but at the moment, last season's finalists, Baxman rests a too strong hit for Vefriga, an 88-59 victory. Well, Manresa shot a very impressive 35% for the perimeter, 12 for 34, but 20 for 30 for the inside of the rainbow. And while Vefriga did have more rebounds and more free throws, you can see just one rebound more than Max Manresa. The 24 assists did be 11. Manresa 13 steals. I mean, the key difference was the shots inside the paint. I mean, the fact that Manresa got out in transition, they can see Jarek Hardin along with Juan Pablo Valet. Combined total of 44 points. Gulbis was the top score for Vefriga. Well, let's take a look at the highlights now from this game. Well, we'll show you the highlights momentarily, but what a great game it was. But it's going to be tough 